Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over something a little bit different. One of the ways to make your practice run more efficiently and control your overhead is to do some of the maintenance yourself on broken equipment. I have three different types of dental hand pieces that I use and today I'm going to show you how to change out the turbine on a Star 430. I purchase replacement turbines from my favorite store, eBay, and I buy 10 at a time. So with a bulk discount, the cost is about $35 to $40 per turbine. You will also need a way to remove the back cap. I have a different version than the one I have shown here because it's not really available anymore. However, as long as you have something that works, that's all you need. The first step is to examine the inside of the handpiece to make sure there's no debris. Usually this is cleaned out during sterilization, so it's not that common of an issue. However, you're going to be cleaning it out. May as well look in there and make sure everything looks clean. Then remove the back cap by using the square wrench and make sure to examine the back of the cap to make sure there's no debris inside there as well. Sometimes you'll need to use either a dummy burr or a big carbide to pop the turbine out. In this case, the turbine came out with the back cap. This turbine has had a lot of wear on the individual veins, so that is why it was no longer spinning or keeping torque when I was working on patients. Compare that to a new one. You will sometimes see that the bearings have broken or that a vein is missing from the turbine. Regardless, these are all signs that you need to replace the turbine. After you have removed it, you'll want to clean the inside of the head as well. Sometimes there can be debris inside here that causes wear on the turbine. I use a Q-tip, it's very simple, just kind of rinse it out with some water, scrub it with a Q-tip, and after it's all cleaned out, you just have to do the process in reverse. So, pop that turbine back in, make sure that it looks good and that it spins freely. Sometimes there can be little impediments along the inside that you need to remove. Uh, you'll also sometimes notice a missing O-ring on the back cap, as in this case. I put a link in the description description below for my preferred site for these specific handpiece repair parts as eBay isn't very reliable for carrying these. You'll also want to put that back on the cap so that there isn't any leakage out the back of it when you're using it. Screw that cap back on, test fit it back on the adapter, press the pedal, make sure everything runs and spins, and you should be ready. For the cost of about $30 to $40 and about three minutes of your time, you've saved what is, on average, a $300 repair. <laughs> I will also show you how I repair my electric hand pieces in an upcoming video, as those are a little more involved, but the cost savings are quite significant with those. Please subscribe and drop a like if you want to see more re videos on maintenance of dental hand pieces and other equipment. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time.